Actress Pamela Anderson has had a unique and storied romantic history. From Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee, to her latest husband, film mogul John Peters. Here's a look back at some of the Baywatch bombshells past romantic entanglements. According to Pamela Anderson, vegans are better in bed. The Baywatch icon appeared on Good Morning Britain Monday where she insisted a plant-based diet can make anyone a better lover. It all started after the actress tweeted the statement over the weekend. Cholesterol hardens your arteries, but not much else the 53-year-old laughed. That's what I hear. I'm vegan. I'm fairly confident in that statement. Absolutely I think. But I think I've always had a lot of fun in that department. Anderson added she's been plant-based for about 30 years. Host Piers Morgan then exclaimed, I'm a meat eater and I can assure you fun things happen to us. 2. The jury's out Pamela, said the 55-year-old. I did offer on Twitter to test this theory Pamela, but I notice you didn't respond to my intrigue. Typical peers. Anderson responded, Dr. Hillary Jones, who appeared on the show, voiced his opinion about Anderson's claims, you could eat chips all day and still have a vegan diet, he explained. If you're educated and knowledgeable about veganism, of course, you can have all the nutrients that you need. But it's very difficult to get all the nutrients you need. The amount of cholesterol you eat in meat and dairy. The blood flow to the rest of your body becomes restricted. In response to Anderson's sex life, remarked, Jones said, it's stretching a point to a great degree. You can have high cholesterol levels if you're a vegan. And, if you're eating the wrong food, as far as too much red meat, there is the possibility that your arteries could suffer. 2. Pamela Anderson and Hugh Hefner Photo by Lawrence Cottrell Film Magic Getty Images Back in June, Anderson revealed to Fox News whether or not she'd bear it all for Playboy again. Anderson has appeared on the cover a total of 14 times, more than any other woman in the magazine's history. Oh gosh, wouldn't that be ridiculous, she said. Oh boy, I don't think so, but I've said that ten times ago. At the time, it had been four years since the Playboy pinup graced its cover. In 2016, the head-turning actress and model helped Hugh Hefner make history by gracing its January-February issue for what was intended to be its last nude edition. Hugh who commonly went by half passed away in 2017 at age 91. In 2017, Hef's son, Cooper Hefner, the then chief creative officer of Playboy Enterprises, announced that he was bringing nudity back to the quintessential men's entertainment magazine. Removing nudity entirely, he scribed on Twitter at the time, proved to be a mistake. Pamela Anderson appeared on Good Morning Britain on Monday where she insisted a plant-based diet can make anyone a better lover. Photo by Barry King, liaison, Getty Images. Then, in March 2020, CEO Ben Cohn announced the publication would move to a digital first publishing schedule for the rest of the year, with plans for fresh and innovative printed offerings to return in 2021. While the Baywatch alum is in no hurry to shoot another pictorial, Anderson said she will always appreciate the publication's titillating content and girls next door vibe. She also reminisced about her days spent working alongside Hef, whom she said referred to her as the DNA of Playboy. He'd say, this is the reason I made the magazine was for a girl like you. Someone who's interested in the world and art and fashion and people and music and just hungry for information and living a sexy life, Anderson said.